Well, there's never ever been lack. So in that sense, it has never been created. It's only been created in our collective, in our society. And there's other societies that generate some version of that. But our civilization has been um, the prime creator of the idea of lack. It doesn't actually exist. It's an idea in our collective mind. So I can only talk about, I cannot talk about how lack was created in existence because it never was. I can only talk about how lack was created in our minds. What function does it serve? It functions, this, it serves the function of, um, of giving us an experience of something that does not actually exist. So it gives, it gives the creator the ability to experience itself in an illusory way, which is actually highly beneficial. It teaches it a lot, that it cannot teach itself in its clear, non-physical states of consciousness. So it generates a physical reality, and it generates a body that is seemingly stuck in physical reality. And then based on those perception, based on those perceptions, it, it starts to reference its circumstances in the form of a human being and circumstances, and it sees, hey, if I take this apple away from you, you don't have an apple, I do. You're lacking, I don't. In energy, in terms of creation, in terms of consciousness, there is an apple in their hand, there's an apple in your hand, and there is infinite apples between these apples, because there's infinite parallel realities. But we don't perceive that on a physical level, and so we can generate, we can play out the idea, the illusion of lack, and generate the experiences that are generated when a consciousness believes in the idea that lack can actually exist, which feels terrible because it's the only thing that cannot exist. Everything in existence can exist except for lack. It's the antichrist. It's the anti-thought. It's the anti-existence idea. Literally, that's what it is, a lack. Lack implies that there's a lack of what? Lack of existence in a particular form, which is still existence. So you're saying that existence can cease to exist. And existence goes, oh, wait a second. That's impossible. Here, I'll make you feel really bad when you believe that. That's what happens when we believe in lack. When we suffer, it's some form of believing lack can exist. That's why we feel bad, because it's so not true. And the frequency, again, that inundation of the true frequency of our higher self, which is rooted in the universal truths of existence, will let us know that it's out of vibrational alignment. And so we constantly feel bad because we have so many adopted ideas about lack. Lack of love, lack of existence, lack of the things we want to get, lack of integrity, lack of all these things. We generated the idea as a, as a species, as a civilization, as a physical consciousness, physically focused consciousness,